mom if she could come on the video so I can interview her. A lot of you guys may not know that I have a feeding tube. And it's a lot to explain and this video will be hours if I did it. So I decided my mom will come. So first I'll introduce to her. Hi guys, I'm Tenley's mom and I'm so proud of her and I'm so lucky to be her mom. Today we're going to explain a little bit about why Tenley is unique and what her life may be like. In a lot of my morning routines, it's going to be a lot different because with a feeding tube, you have to go to bed at a certain time. So I go to bed at 4 and I have to explain this to you guys. But before we get started, make sure you guys subscribe, click the notification bell, and then this video gigantic thumbs up. I want to introduce you guys to my girl, Honey. My mom got me Honey when I was 3 years old. And she got it for me because it has a feeding tube and it's really special to me. And you guys know that moms have no ways getting things, but they never tell you. So I always was wondering as I got older, Mom, why, how did you get a feeding tube in her? And then she would always say, oh, moms have their ways. That's what I love about moms. So let's dive out in this video. Hey mom, can honey help you with this video? Yes, that would be great. So we can use honey to explain some things about Tenley's feeding tube. It's super simple. She gets fed through a tube instead of by mouth. Honey has the same feeding tube as Tenley. Some of you might be wondering, why does Tenley have a feeding tube? Well, Tenley has a couple medical conditions. The first one is she's missing a chromosome. She's missing chromosome 16. So we like to say, Tenley, did you find your chromosome yet? <laughs> yeah, because like I go to the park all the, day, all the time, so I'm going to search for my chromosome, but it never appears. We say it might be missing and she might find it at the park one day. She also has something called gastroparesis. That means her stomach doesn't work. So we can't feed her into her stomach. Instead, we feed her into her intestines. Tenley also has something called a mitochondria disease. That means her muscles don't get energy. So maybe you heard Tenley say that she goes to bed at four o'clock in the afternoon. Wow, that's super early for most people, but not for Tenley, that's normal. Her body gets very tired and her muscles say she needs to go to sleep. So, Honey has the same feeding tube as Tenley. It looks like a little button with a tube that hangs. We like to make it be super comfy for Tenley, so we give her something called a button cover. And that kind of hugs her feeding tube to make it nice and snug and comfy. Let's get one on Honey. Next, you might be wondering, well, how do you put pizza in a tube? We don't put pizza in a tube. We actually put something called Pediashore. We also put Pedialyte. Both of them help Tenley to grow and be strong. So Tenley can technically eat any food by mouth that she wants and it doesn't bother us because she's getting all of her healthy food through her tube. Well, how do we put a can here? This would be super weird, I don't know. Tenley might have to sit all day if we did it like that. So instead, we use a pump. Tenley's pump is inside her backpack. And guys, don't you like my backpacks? At the end, my mom's gonna let me pick out some backpacks because that's the best part. Tenley's backpack is a bag with the food I just showed you. Her Pedia Shore and her Pedia Light. Then she has this, which is the pump. This is the pump. We can see it has numbers on it. And we press run. Run means it's going to go into Tenley's belly. There it goes. Tenley's being fed right now as she sits here. Tenley, do you feel like you're being fed? No. Do you um, feel 
anything? No, I actually just feel normal. Tenley mentioned a little bit to you guys already about how she takes a lot of medicines. So these are all the medicines she takes at least two times a day and some of them three times a day. You may think this looks like a lot of medicine, but it actually really helps Tenley. If Tenley didn't take these medicines every day, she wouldn't even be able to get out of bed or even play because her stomach would hurt so bad and her legs would be aching. So they're actually really good for her and we encourage her to take care of herself and do as much as she can for herself. So do you guys want to see how she gives herself her own medicine? Hey mom, what are you doing? Are you showing the fans about um, um, how I do my medicine? Yes, can you help? Yeah, of course. I do this all the time, so why not be in the video? Tenley is really independent. She gives herself her own medicine every day, and she takes care of herself a lot. We encourage her to be independent when it comes to her medical needs. These look like shots, but they're not. It's actually just a soft syringe that we fill with medicine, and then she puts it inside her feeding tube. Tenley, do you feel anything when it's going in? Uh, if you really want my honesty here, I just feel a little bit because it hurts, but mostly it feels fine. It's not like a sharp pain. So does it feel like you're getting a shot? No. No, it doesn't. So that's how she gives herself her medicine. And actually, that's probably a lot better because if she didn't have a feeding tube, she would have to taste all of these. Tenley, would you want to taste all of these? Okay, I tried to taste one first. It was so bad, guys. I I would rather put them in my feeding tube. So that's one of the perks to having a feeding tube. She can give herself her medicine and not even know she's getting it. She also gets fed through her backpack all night long. So you may wonder, when does she take her backpack off? Hardly ever. Only if she's going swimming or taking a shower or a bath. Sometimes in the summer, we give her a break if she's been really good wearing it, but she really needs to wear it about 23 hours a day. So she's getting fed while she rides her bicycle, while she's sleeping. She's getting fed right now. Yeah. Something else that Tenley has, it's called an auditory processing disorder. What that means is she hears a little bit differently. She can hear sounds, but it's often hard for her to hear some words. So when she was little, she used to say, what, what, all the time. And then she put the TV really, really loud. Then we found out she had this auditory processing disorder and we found a great solution. Tell me, what do you have? Hearing aids. You know what looks cute? This. Wow. If you guys know me, I love unicorns and rainbows. They're my destiny, so these stickers are perfect. These hearing aids are so awesome that you can hardly even see them when they're in Tenley's ear. I know. They're special hearing aids called Low Gain. They're made for auditory processing disorders, and we're so happy that we were able to get them. The last thing today is I got to push out a new backpack. We have a lot of options here. Let's see what we have. Honey, you're going to sit right here. You know what, honey? You should help me. It looks so cute, right? 
Well, I hope you guys like this video, and I hope you guys will be seeing me wearing my backpack in some of the videos I'm watching, and I hope this you guys learned a little bit more about me. Make sure you guys subscribe. Bye!